Hey, what's going on, guys? So we've been outside training all day and all night, and um, so look at this, guys. A fucking train was found sitting like it had been left behind, full of personnel carriers, okay? That is going to be wrote up as lost now, okay? Now, it could, it might not be, but now they have reason to say it was lost, and imagine who could come and get these trains. I guarantee you somebody's already come and offloaded them somewhere. This is insane, folks. This is called critical staging. Military guys know exactly what's going on right here. On our way to work. Stopped here at the tracks. And, yeah. I don't know where the rest of the train was, but... I think they forgot something. Oh, another fun day. Shalom. All uh, praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. This video will be entitled, The Days Are Evil. <clears throat> the Days Are Evil. And you saw the video from the beginning. This uh, individual, I don't know if he's a, a soldier or he's in a militia, whatever it is. He seems to, you know, think that something is going on. Which... It wouldn't surprise me if something was going on. This is a quick video. Just a warning. Keep your eyes open. Keep your head on the swivel out there because the days are evil. Okay. Now, I believe this caption was supposed to say UN armored troop carriers, not up. I think it's supposed to say UN armored troop carriers with variation of weaponry. This could destroy a small town with a few thousand military aged males, military armed wake up america <clears throat> no such thing as coincidences and i you know we've been talking about this stuff for a long time it doesn't surprise us one bit okay and i just want to go into a quick a few quick scripts you know just reminding brothers out there you know this thing could pop off before you know it okay and as the, the video did say in the caption there's no such thing as coincidences, right? There, there, which really there aren't. So I'm going to start here, verse at Ephesians chapter five, right? And we'll start at verse fourteen. Now it says, "Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and the anointed shall give thee light." And that dead is talking about a spiritually dead. It says, "See then that ye walk circumspectly." Not as fools, but as wise. Stop right there. So we have to walk circumspectly. Circumspectly meaning watching out, uh, uh, being aware of your surroundings. Okay. Circumspect, wary, and unwilling to take risks. Um, that's one of them. You got to be circumspect. You got to be wary and unwilling to take unnecessary risks. It says circumspect. Um, didn't give me a lot there, but let's do this. Instead of that, we'll look it up here. Um, see then as you walk circumspectly, not as fools. Circumspectly as accurate boasts or accurate boasts. The word means exactly, accurately, diligently, right? Um, and that's pretty much all it gives you. But we know through breaking the word down, let's see if we can go there real quick. Um, online etymology right and we'll go to the word circumspect <clears throat> see what it gives us all right um did it look it up no i didn't look it up all right so circumspect cautious wary literally looking about on all sides right from the word circle or circumference circumference looking around you or around inspect meaning to see looking around you or seeing around you cautious wary literally looking about on all sides deliberate guarded well considered past participle past participle of circums 
circumspicere, look around. Right? It says, look around, take heed from circum, around, roundabout, spicere, to look, spec, to observe. See that? So that's that's it. Circum. Yeah. So you got to be watching out around you, knowing your surroundings, paying attention to what's going on around you is what the scripture is saying, saying to do. Okay. So again, Ephesians 5 and 15. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. And that's where the title comes from. The days are evil. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. And what's the will of the Lord? Well, many different things, but the will of the Lord in this time is to destroy Babylon the Great, to bring great judgment on the citizens of Babylon the Great, to make people pay for their iniquity and sins, which ungodly sinners have, have done against the Most High. Let's get it over here now. Um, Ephesians. Excuse me. So this is now Ephesians 5 from the Good News Translation, around about verse, is it 16? 15. It says, so be careful how you live. Don't live like ignorant people, but like wise people. Make good use of every opportunity you have because these are evil days and you have to make use of the opportunities that you have to get this truth if you're a teacher to teach the truth make lessons do shows go to camp you know pray fast get ready for the coming of the lord but first before that for jacob's trouble it says don't be fools then but try to find out what the lord wants you to do and that's what you should do find out what the lord wants you to do and if we can, we'll even make this the uh, NLT. That was the good news translation that we just read. This is the NLT, Ephesians 5.15. So be careful how you live. Don't live like fools, but like those who are wise. Make the most of every opportunity in these evil days. Don't act thoughtlessly, but understand what the Lord wants you to do. Okay. And you know. <clears throat> when videos like this come out We take it with a grain of salt Because we don't know who this individual is He could he could just be a guy that's pretending But on the other hand I mean it, there was some real footage We don't know where that footage came from But it seems to be showing tanks But a lot of people do shit for social media Likes and fame So you know be careful Now let's also go to First Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 1 it says but of the times and the seasons brethren you have no need that I write unto you you know what time we're in right for yourselves know perfectly <clears throat> that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night for when they shall say peace and safety then sudden destruction cometh upon them and right now people are not thinking about you know something prophetic happening they're thinking about so-called christmas gifts celebrating whatever they whatever they planning on doing being off right opening gifts presents buying gifts and presents covetousness that's what they're thinking about and they think that you know uh they're gonna go through the holidays and then celebrate new years and do all that but they have no idea that the heavenly father could just bring judgment in a moment's notice it says when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape. So when that judgment comes, it's not going to be respective of what day it is. But ye brethren are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are all the children of the light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober, right? We got to watch and be sober minded for they that sleep, sleep in the night and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love and for an helmet, the hope of salvation. 
for you for the most high has not appointed us to wrath but to obtain salvation by our lord yahweh shai hamashiach right the most High didn't set up his elect right to get judgment he set them up to obtain salvation and we praying that we're of that elect for everybody else though at a moment's notice judgment could take place everything is pretty much set up we just wait for them to, to cause an event bring forth this mark world war three gets fought and that's it we, we pretty much out of here it says for the most high hath not appointed us to wrath but to obtain salvation by our lord Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, and I mean that's gonna gonna be Jacob's trouble. Well you have World War Three, which is Armageddon, the mark of the beast, persecution of the prophets and the men of the Lord. There's other things wrapped up in there, but the main prophecies they're on the way. For the most high hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even as also ye do. Right. The Lord said, feed my sheep. So that's what we attempt to do. Feed the sheep. Now, we want to go here to 1 Thessalonians. Just bear with me here momentarily. Yeah, I don't know if this is it. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. Yeah, from the Good News Translation, it says there is no need to write you, friends, about the times and occasions when these things will happen. For you yourselves know very well that the day of the Lord will come as a thief comes at night. When people say everything is quiet and safe, then suddenly destruction will hit them. It will come as suddenly as the pains that come upon a woman in labor and people will not escape. But you friends are not in dark in the darkness and the day should not take you by surprise like a thief. All of you are people who belong to the light, who belong to the day. We do not belong to the night or to the darkness. So then we should not be sleeping like the others. We should be awake and sober. It is at night when people sleep. It is at night when they get drunk. But we belong to the day and we should be sober. We must wear faith and love as a breastplate and our hope of salvation as a helmet. The Most High did not choose us to suffer his anger, but to possess salvation through our Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, who died for us in order that we might live together with him, whether we are alive or dead when he comes. So encourage one another and help one another just as you are now doing. So if you're making the videos, you're edifying, keep doing that. All right, be circumspect of your surroundings and what's going on. Watch the news, pay attention. All right, because we are in the evil days. All praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Shalom.